Today, we'll be showing you a tutorial on a cable and spring assembly replacement for the Endo Spring Balancer model ELF-15. We would like to put a disclaimer that the replacement of the spring and cable should not be attempted without any formal training. This is due to the fact that the tension from the spring can cause the cable to lash out and cause serious injury and possibly even death. Now the tools that are needed for today will be an Allen key set, a flathead screwdriver, a 17 mil socket, a three mil hex drive, and a 10 mil socket as well as we'll be attaching those sockets and hex drive to a Panasonic impact wrench. Step one of the disassembly process of the Endo ELF-15 spring cable balancer is to make sure that the drum lock is in the off position as shown here. This is the off position and this is the on position. So make sure that the lock is in the off position indicated here. Step two of the disassembly process is to remove the four safety pins that are held by the grub, grub screws. Take your three millimeter hex driver and attach it to your Panasonic driver. And reverse the grub screws. After you remove the grub screw, take your flat screwdriver and pry the safety pin loose until you remove the safety pin completely from the spring balancer. And repeat this process until all the safety pins are removed. Step three is to remove the tension on the cable assembly. Take your 17 millimeter socket and attach it to your Panasonic driver. Set the driver in reverse and attach it to the tension adjuster. And turn it out of clockwise to remove the tension on the cable. Remove the four bolts holding the assembly together. Take your 10 millimeter socket and attach it to your Panasonic driver and remove all four bolts from the assembly. Step five is to remove the rear cover carefully, leaving the spring and drum assembly still attached to the front cover. Using a six millimeter Allen key, remove the cable holding plug from the drum. Then unfasten the cable from the drum assembly. Remove the drum and spring assembly from the front cover casing. Flip the assembly over to access the six screws. These six screws hold the drum and spring together. Using a five millimeter driver, remove these six screws to separate the drum from the spring. With all six uh, screws removed, you can now remove the spring assembly from the drum.
attach your new spring assembly to the drum using six millimeter hex screws that are fastened to 15 millimeters. Step two, have the drum facing up. Grab your new cable and feed it through the front of your rear housing. And then through the drum until the cable passes through both holes of the drum and, it, and until it reaches the lock. Take your plug and screw it into the lock plug. Step three is to align the rear casing to the drum and the spring assembly. Step four is to attach the front casing to the rest of the assembly. And then you will attach all four bolts and tighten it down to 15 new meters. You'll be using your 10 mil socket. Step five is to add tension to your cable by turning the tension adjuster clockwise. Step six is to install the safety pins and secure it with the grub screws. After a complete installation of the new spring assembly, the spring balancer needs to be calibrated. <laughs> 